Hey peeps, it's Jess. Today I'm pretty excited because we're having bubble tea at one of my favorite places and I don't know what I'm doing yet again, which is one of my favorite things in life is mystery dessert goodness. So, Young Tea is a semi-hidden spot over on Weller across the street from Awajamaya and it's really hidden because you can only really see it from this sideboard and it's up a flight of stairs, a short flight of stairs and it's my personal favorite. We can talk ambrosia versus gossip all day. This is my completely subjective opinion. I like young tea. So we're gonna, gonna go to young tea. We're gonna have some treats. It's gonna be awesome. Let's do this. So yeah, here's Kinukanuya. We got Oasis and then do 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 young tea. I am here with the awesome Caroline Lee, who is the owner of this gorgeous establishment of Tasty Things, and she's been telling me all about the Rose Heaven, which I am super excited about. What is, how did you design this? Like, what made you want this rose drink of gorgeous? Yeah, because like, I myself love roses a lot, and I know there's a lot of health benefit about the roses. So uh, we just, because uh, everybody's using powder and using all sorts of uh, flavor thing, which I really don't like, it's so bad to our health. So, because um, we do everything real. So inside this drink, there's some honey and a lemon. And a special part about this drink is we actually, um, we froze the rose petal yeah. uh, in the ice cube. So when it, the, the ice cube melts, in the drink, it's gonna be so romantic, yeah. So usually when I'm done uh, with the drink, I would just add some cold water, drink yeah. some water, and when it's crystal clear, you can see the ice um, paddles floating inside the drink. Oh, that makes me really happy. <laughs> and it's so pretty, peeps. Um, I'm, I know I'm just sitting here just drinking and nodding. Um, it's really mellow and gently floral. See, sometimes roses can be really intense. Like, pow, roses, you're eating perfume. This is more really mellow, soft, and then the honey is the end note. And I feel like this is like a summer sipping drink. This oh, really is. Uh -huh. Like, I just want to walk like on the waterfront with this drink. Yeah, but even in the winter, we can make it hot. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. That'd be yeah. pretty. Uh huh. <laughs> so what else are we trying today? So we got. What is this? We have no label. So what is this guy? <laughs> so this is a high mountain oolong milk tea. Ooh. Yeah. It is very refreshing. Mm. So um, oolong family is huge. <laughs> depending on yeah. the roasting yeah. um, and um, fermentation uh, level. Yeah. So it goes from uh, heavily roasted okay. or heavily uh, fermented or uh, middle level um, or the lightly uh, roasted and fermented. So the high mountain oolong milk tea is um, lightly roasted and lightly uh, fermented. So that's why it has a really refreshing um, taste. Oh. Give this a taste. And I, I know um, our boba is very popular. It's chewy and not yep. squishy. Uh, but I want you to try the uh, the grass jelly. I'm excited. Oh. Grass jelly is awesome. Tried it oh yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. I love the. It reminds me of cacao and it's that astringency that you get at the back of the tongue. Right. It's really polite. Uh -huh. I feel like. like I feel like it's. I'm in good company with this tea. So Always hard getting the jelly. Yeah. Well, getting jelly early. For those of you who haven't had the grass jelly before, it's really light and gentle jello oh. for a texture. It's very soft. It is really grassy at the end. <laughs> yes. Okay, really grass. If you like grass jelly, you should try their grass jelly because it's grass jelly. Does anyone You like it? Eating grass jelly on film is really, really hard. Okay. Shall we go for round three? Uh huh. Round three. Okay, so for round three, we are doing the taro smoothie, which is really hefty. My goodness, this is hardcore. Like, what is even happening here? It's so mellow. This is so ridiculously mellow. Mm. Like floral cereal milk? 
I don't want to be rude to this horrible, but it's so mellow and marshmallowy. Like, oh yeah. I feel like I'm even like, and then I get the taro at the very end, like an end note. Wow, but I kind of just this. It's just very, very mellow and very good. Oh dear. Yeah, it, it's, so it's ice cream. Like, yeah, I'll That's one of the marshmallowy notes. Dear God. Yeah, so <laughs> the taro smoothie is really popular right now. I can see yeah. why. <laughs> what? <laughs> You have this cup, you don't need lunch. No. <laughs> Guys, this, this is super filling. Oh my goodness. Like, uh, okay. I can live way too, way too this. Do not be fooled by the white color. It is taro. And don't ask me to choose a favorite right now. Okay, we'll say like, as everyone's eating the taro, I want more of the dang taro. Um, the taro is fastly melting, but it's really good. And I think I'm still a sucker for my favorites. Like, I love your black sugar, and I love the house black milk tea. So if you see me, you're likely still going to see me drinking the milk tea because I'm a sucker for my traditional drinks. But that taro, is that going to guess to be over 80 again? That's what I'm getting ASAP. Like, no joke. That That is awesome. Well, on that happy note, thank you again. This has been super awesome. Uh, my pleasure. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm Jess Salzerke. Caroline, I'm Caroline from Young uh, Yep. And we're going to finish drinking all this stuff because otherwise I'm going to have a sugar high. So, any comments or questions for me or Caroline, throw them in the comments below. And as always, go out, eat all things, and bring friends because, oh my goodness, there's so much here. Bye. Thank you so much. <laughs> as I drop things. Bye. <laughs>